My people, I have done several videos trying to look out for my brothers, being a brother's keeper. And I've told my brothers that in all you do, I know we all make mistakes, but in all that you do, never, ever, 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 ever marry a woman that is affiliated to a Nigerian prophetic shrine or any of these prophetic shrines that are being administered by these 419 Yahoo Yahoo or cultic so-called men of God. Today, the nation of Zimbabwe is crying because they lost a national asset. The goalkeeper of the Zimbabwe national team was sacrificed by Jeremiah Omoto's spiritual son called David Uche, who's based here in South Africa. The wife of this brother convinced this brother to go and attend the prophetic service and deliverance of this David Uche, who's a spiritual son of Jeremiah Omoto for fame. And this Baba Lao, this Sangoma called Prophet David Uche. Give this young man seven days and healing will prevail. Do you know what happened after seven days? The brother died. This guy was promising. He was only 32. He was playing for a club here in South Africa. And he was the goalkeeper of the Zimbabwe national team. It's all because of a woman. Come to church. My papa this, my papa that. The fall of every king has been fueled. By a gullible woman out there that lowered their loved ones to these occultic shrines. 99% of men that are affiliated with these occultic shrines, they were lured by their women. My brothers, be very careful who you marry. Don't just marry Jack and G. Don't do it. Especially if she submits to a Nigerian Babalao. Don't do it. Because you'll be setting yourself up. I want you to listen to the prophecy that this David Uche of a guy gave to this brother called George Chigoa, who recently passed away. Listen to him. You were here yesterday? Yeah, was my husband. He's the goalkeeper that was sick? Yeah. What did they say is wrong with your heart? Uh, they say the heartbeat is irregular. The heartbeat is irregular? Yes. You are a goalkeeper? Yes, I'm a goalkeeper. Where do you keep for? Super Sport United. And the national team. National team? Yeah. Zimbabwe national team? Yeah. So now... They want to give you a new contract? Yes, but they've been delaying. They say because of my heart, they can't give me a new contract now. What did they discover in your heart? They say it's a bit big, it's irregular. But when I do any training sessions, I don't feel anything. They say it's BP? Yes, I had a problem with high blood pressure. They said it's, caused, it's the one which caused it. Is it you, do you hear my teaching today? Yes, I did. You must not think negative about anybody yes because let me tell you the bp what that i are seen there is how you are feeling for people at home yes there was if there was there is a fight and hatred against you at home yes and you keep on thinking you are even trying to avoid home yes true so that's what i've brought this thing this thing there's nothing on you is your thoughts i'll pray for you amen so today you are getting, you are healed. Amen. You come back here and testify. I receive. I give you seven days. I receive. Seven days. I receive. Do you know what happened after seven days? The brother passed away. This Baba Lao prayed for this brother. Declared that after seven days, you are going to be well. How gullible can men be to allow themselves to be lured in this kind of a trap by their wives? How gullible can we be, my brothers? When are you going to wake the hell up? Continue listening to the useless prophecy that led to the death of this brother. You're free. I receive. If you listen carefully, you realize that this Babalawa was even asking the wife that were you here yesterday? She was there yesterday and she presented the case of her husband. And the Babalawa told, go bring your husband. And she brought their husband. I see this is an occultic sacrifice. This is a sacrifice. How can someone die soon after you have prophesied that they are going to be healed?
if I'm to throw a curve ball at everybody, someone goes to a doctor, they get diagnosed, and the results come out. You have high blood pressure. Your heart is irregular, as he puts it. And you try to dispute those results, those medical results, and go to a Nigerian Babalao, hoping, hoping that you have a different outcome. This Babalao even told you that the doctors don't know what they were talking about. Your heart has no problem. These men should be arrested. These men must be behind bars. This is murder, my people. Let's not beat around the bush. Do you know how many people we have lost who were told by this Babalao to discontinue their medication simply because they had laid their filthy hands on the, hand, on the heads of these gullibles who go there seeking healing. Do you know how many people we've lost? It's only fortunate for this brother because he's a well-known figure. He's a public figure. Now think about our mothers who are not known on these social spaces. Think about our fathers who are not known on these digital spaces. Think about our sisters, our brothers, whom we've lost, who were told not to drink their medication by these babalaos. And they lost their lives in the process. And their lives was cut short. George's life was cut short by this Babalao. How can this Babalao, who dropped out of school, dispute the medical report of George's healthy condition and say they don't know what they're talking about? It's your thoughts. It's your thoughts. Did you hear that nonsense? It's your thoughts. That's making you have an irregular heart. My people, the time has come. This boy must be arrested and he will be arrested. He must rot in prison. Like I told you, he's a spiritual son of Jeremiah Omoto for fame. What can you expect? What can you expect? A snake begets a snake. Now he has come to South Africa to make occultic sacrifices. Look at this video when he was getting initiated by Omoto for fame. So as I was preparing, then I met Prophet Jeremiah. And I was sitting in the congregation and I could see the miracle and the prophecy. And the Spirit of the Lord was speaking to me. I didn't know it was the Spirit of the Lord then. See, so you can't be sitting down and these kind of things are happening. Go and become an usher. From sitting inside the congregation. And he said, you see, you are not going to be an ordinary usher. You'll be standing there in the altar there. So even the first day, I went to meet the chief usher. I said, I want to be an usher. He said, okay. We'll put in a fast. That's how we join here. Now we lost a good man. He is gone. And the charlatan is still jubilating. I noticed in South Africa, somewhere in Randberg, if I were him, I would start running back to Nigeria. I would start picking. Because his day has come. And the wives, like the type of George Chugowa's wives, are the ones that you see in the comments section saying, Prof X, your time has come. Your end has come. You are touching the anointed. Dracula's anointed. You call these Dracula's anointed. These are vampires, my people. They drink blood. How do you pray for someone now and soon after you finish praying for them and saying you are delivered, go away. Come back after seven days, you'll be healed. And after seven days, the person dies. This is pure murder. Tell me what you think, my people. It's Mr. PDT. And I'm out.